Sky Master. A tous les DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top! Allumage Vulcain. Allumage de ZEAP, décollage. Watching an Arian 5 thunder into the sky from CSG. A minute into the launch, and the Arian 5 has already broken the sound barrier here at Corbu. And this massive Jupiter facility literally shaking. We can feel it now. 1,300 tons of thrust breaking the Arian 5, free from the bonds of Earth's gravity. 90% of that power coming from the two boosters. Each one 31 meters tall, burning 240 tons of solid propellant in two minutes. That's better than two tons a second. When the boosters have done their job in a little less than a minute from right now, Ariane will be 70 kilometers into non the sky. It'll be racing away from us at more than 1.6 kilometers a second faster than a bullet. The information coming down to us at Gilat, the tracking station on a mountain just behind us here at the Jupiter facility. The next major event is the burnout and the jettison of those two solid rocket boosters. You're going to be able to see it live on the screen. It'll happen in about uh, 13 seconds from right now when those boosters have uh, completed uh, their job at uh, 2 le minutes calme, 20 seconds into the mission. So watch for that. And look at those pictures. In the clear skies above Karu, the boosters have uh, done their job. We don't need them anymore. Talk about losing weight. On the pad, Arian 5 was 774 tons, roughly. We're now down to 180 tons, and in the rocket business, when you get lighter, you go a lot faster. And there you see some video from our previous mission of uh, the rockets, uh, the boosters dropping away. Ariane 5 now closing in on 100 kilometers in the sky, traveling at 150, uh, make that uh, 2.8, uh, 2.1 kilometers uh, per second. Speed number tonight, by the way, 9.3 is the uh, magic number. Next up, the jettison of the fairing. It's protected the satellites from the elements on the ground. And in the early days of launch, early moments of launch, we don't need it anymore. And so very shortly, you are going to see and hear, there it is, on the animation. Separation de la coiffe. And the DDO has announced it. Here's uh, the fairing uh, dropping away from us uh, this evening on the flight. We just lost another uh, two tons, by the way. There's some images from a previous mission. Technically, we were in space, but we still have a long way to go. But uh, things are going fine for Ariane 5. And we continue to uh, see the 3D animation. We're at 100 and 28 uh, kilometers into uh, uh, the sky and already 300 kilometers uh, downrange uh, from us here at uh, Koru and closing in on three uh, kilometers uh, per second. The main stage or EPC is now burning. It uh, burns for about special nine greetings minutes. to the people watching live in Argentina and, uh, to the public the television from uh, Technopolis. At RSAT headquarters, also at INVAP headquarters, it uh, gulps uh, 320 kilograms, about 700 uh, pounds of fuel a second, 500 times more than a uh, jet engine. 
Uh, you just saw that uh, graph on the side of the screen. We're going to see that a whole lot more tonight. And that depicts uh, the uh, trajectory that we want to uh, be going in uh, this evening. And again, we are right down the middle. Uh, everything is going normal, as you heard the uh, DDO uh, just announced. 152 kilometers into uh, the sky uh, right now, Gilat is uh, the tracking station that is uh, tracking us uh, right now and things continue to uh, go uh, normal uh, this evening on the uh, Ariane flight. We're going to be seeing some replays coming up in a moment and again uh, very very impressive uh, replays uh, from the pad those will be coming in a second. You see the uh, 3D images of what's happening uh, right now uh, in the uh, sky. Here's the first of those replays we mentioned. Il reste trois minutes de propulsion de l'EPC. La trajectoire est Just incredible to watch that Ariane 5 jump off the pad. You know, one of the uh, questions that I frequently get when people ask me, uh, why am I going to French Guiana to launch a rocket? Well, the Kourou Space Base is located about uh, 500 kilometers north of the equator, and the Earth rotates much faster at the equator than it does, say, at the Kennedy Space in Florida. Thus, the uh, Ariane 5 gets a huge boost from the Earth's rotation, and that allows satellite operators, as you see another great replay here, uh, that allows satellite operators in many cases to launch heavier payloads and to add more fuel to their bird, increasing their operational life. Thus, uh, the longer it lives up there, the more revenue you can generate. So the bottom line is it really does pay off uh, 